Why are women so afraid to show their natural gray hair color? Younger women, older women, women my age, what are they afraid of? Well, I think I have figured it out and I'm gonna share my opinion with you in this video. So hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Renee, this is Welcome to My Curls and I am 51 years old and I have been completely gray headed for over three years now. My husband actually said something to me the other day that struck a nerve and I had never thought about my gray hair the way that he thinks about my gray hair. So let me tell you the story and what happened. We were in the car driving to Milwaukee to visit our daughter. I was reading comments on some of my YouTube videos as they were coming in because we had a seven hour car ride, not a lot to do, but sit there and talk and you know answer comments. And a comment came in from somebody who said she was new to my channel, had watched a couple videos, and her comment was, Renee, I am so confused by you. Your gray hair confuses me. I can't tell if you are 30 years old or 70 years old. And so I turned to my husband. I said, I don't know how to take that. Is that a compliment or is that a put down? And he laughed and said, well, by gosh, that's a compliment. If she thinks there's a possibility you are 30 years old, I would take that as a compliment. And I said, but how is she so confused? There would be a 40 year age gap in her thinking, 30 or 70, how can she not tell? He said, you know, Renee, it's not about your hair color. It has nothing to do with your hair color. The way you look confuses people because you have gray hair, which is a hair color that people associate with being older, but you look young because you take care of yourself, your skin looks good, you have a younger hairstyle, you wear makeup, you get dressed every day, and you wear fashionable clothes, as he put it. He said, that's why people are so confused. You've got two things happening here, and people just can't figure it out. And I thought, you know what? By golly, I think he's right. I do have two things happening here. And I this this conversation took place about a month ago, I guess, and I have really been thinking about what he said. And I've been thinking about that woman's comment, whether I was 30 or 70. And I think I've come up with the answer, or I came up with an answer in my mind that makes sense and I wanna share it with you. For some reason, women think there is a literal line in the sand and on one side of that line is youngness, youth, and the other side of that line is old. Nothing really takes you across that line in the sand until you have gray hair. The minute you have gray hair, you have crossed that line in the sand and people think that you're old simply because of the color of your hair. I can think of no other one defining thing, one defining characteristic about somebody or their lifestyle or their appearance that would automatically make you think, well, that person's old. For 20 years, I colored my hair a very dark brown, almost a black, with a little bit of a copper color to it. And for the last seven or eight years that I colored my hair, I hated it. I did not look like myself. I didn't feel like myself. I would look in the mirror. I'd be in this very bathroom, getting dressed, putting on the same makeup, fixing my eyebrows the same way, putting on the same lipstick, and I would look at myself in the mirror and think, I look horrible. What is wrong with me? Am I wearing the wrong makeup? Am, is my jewelry not right? Is my hair color wrong? Do I need to put highlights in it or low lights? Or do I have too much red? Or is this color shirt just not working with my skin anymore? And I could not figure out why I looked so bad. And then I decided to stop coloring my hair. And I made that decision for a lot of reasons. I've shared them in so many videos. I will link those videos in the description box below this video if you are interested in all of the reasons why I stopped coloring my hair. But once I stopped coloring my hair and I started to grow out the gray, and all of this white hair started shining around my face 
and the gray and the silver hair started taking over my curls. I know I looked bad because half of my head was white and the other half of my head was black with that colored hair, but internally, I realized I was looking better. I was becoming me. My hair was now starting to match my skin tone. My body was changing. My skin was changing. Because I was getting older, my body and my skin no longer matched that deep, dark hair color that I was putting on my hair every three weeks. And once I could see all of this glorious color come out, and I started to embrace the color, and I started to embrace the transition, and realized that I was, it was like a flower blooming. I was becoming myself. I was no longer hiding behind the hair color. I was no longer pretending and trying to be something that I wasn't. I was no longer trying to hang on to my 30-year-old youth when I decided to embrace my age and myself and I had gray hair, my true happiness came out. I could see it when I looked at myself in my very own mirror. I could tell that I looked so much better. And one key factor in the woman being confused about my age, was I 30 or was I 70? According to my husband, is that I have kept my same youthful hairstyle. My hair has always been curly, it has always been big, it has always been a little bit of crazy, and regardless of the color of my hair, this is my hair. I have continued on with my curly hair, and I think that is so important to note because as we age, women think that they need to wear their hair short. They need to cut off their hair. And that, I think, is a factor that ages those women. But I have kept my curly hair. Let me turn around and show you how long it is. And actually, I just got a haircut last week. And when I went into my hairdresser, she said, whoa, your hair is long. I said, I know, like I had a big growth spurt or something. And so we did cut off a lot of the length last week and just kind of shaped it up. It's looking a lot better. But let me give you a spin around so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. And then I'm gonna show you some old photos of me with dark hair. Now that you've gotten the full spin of my gray hair, here's what I look like for 20 something years with very dark colored coppery hair. And I know at first glance you're thinking, well, you looked pretty good. And I did look pretty good 20 years ago. But over the course of 20 years, more and more and more. It was coming in faster. It was coming in thicker. It was coming in wider. At first, I started picking out the little gray hairs one by one and cutting them out. Well, I didn't last long because they started coming in so fast. They were taking over my natural dark hair. So I started coloring my hair. I used a demi-permanent color. Then I had to go to a semi-permanent color. Then I had to go to a permanent color every six weeks. Then every five weeks. Then every four weeks. Then every three weeks. And I would get my hair colored. And I would leave the salon, literally, and get in the car. And I would look right here. And I would still have gray hair showing. And a week later, I had gray and white roots all around my face. So that was when I said, you know what? This is not worth it. It is not worth putting myself through this to try to cover up the one feature that is me. This is me. I have gray hair. It doesn't matter what my age is. It doesn't matter what year I was born. What matters is I have gray hair and I am no longer going to cover it up. So once I made that decision and I told my husband and I told my daughters and I told my family and I had already come to terms with that decision, knowing that it was going to be a rough six months to a year, which turned into two years to grow out all of this gray. It just became part of me. It became not a big deal. Once I got enough growth of gray hair to get to about right here, I honestly didn't even think about it anymore. And even to this day, people will comment on my hair and I have to kind of ask them, are you talking about my curls? Or are you talking about my gray? 
because I'm not sure what they're referring to. And I will tell you, women say one thing to me all the time, and it makes me want to scream. It is such a frustrating comment, but I get it at least twice a week from a total stranger. A woman will see me and she will comment on my gray hair and she will say, if I knew mine would look like that, I would go gray. And I just want to shake her and say, how do you know your hair isn't gonna look like this? Have you grown yours out? What does your hair look like under all of that color that you're putting on it? Do you know that once you embrace your natural hair color, how much better you will feel, how much more confidence you will gain, how you just open up and become the person that you are truly meant to be. How do you know that that's not going to happen to you? Because I know that's going to happen to you, but that woman making that comment is standing on the other side of that line and she just doesn't know. And it's so, it's almost impossible for me to explain it to her. And I just kind of shake my head and thank them for the compliment and say, but how do you know? How do you know that your hair is not going to be beautiful? Because I bet you, your gray hair is beautiful. And they always have some sort of a comeback. They've already decided in their head that their gray is gonna be ugly or it's gonna be mixed in with brown or it's gonna be mousy or it's gonna be yellow or it's not gonna have variations. They've already decided this for themselves, but they have zero knowledge of what it actually looks like. I didn't know what my hair was gonna look like when I stopped coloring it, and you won't know till you get about six months in and you can actually see the growth. And now I have been fully gray for over three years. I have been <laughs> rocking this gray hair and sporting these curls just like this for over three years. And in those three years, my gray has changed. I have gotten a lot more white up here I have gotten a thin area in here. My curls have softened. Look, look down here. I'm like um, wavy-ish at the bottom. My curls have definitely loosened and softened because the texture of my gray hair is entirely different than my hair was when I was coloring it. When I colored my hair, it was coarse and really thick and my curls were just fried and unhappy and weird. Well, once I got rid of all that colored hair and my curls could be their natural selves, I don't mind saying for myself that they look pretty good. But that's kind of my point. You don't know what your natural hair is going to look like until you grow it out and see for yourself. You have to grow it out you have to live with it. You have to learn to use the right products and how to fix it. And you know what? The absolute worst case scenario is you go through it and a year or two down the road, you just absolutely cannot live with it. You were unhappy. Girl, you can always color it again. You can. You can walk right into your hairdresser and in under an hour, you can have your old hair color back if you want to do that. And I'm here to bet you here and now, you will never go back to colored hair. The sun finally came out. It's been raining all day long and cloudy and yucky, so I decided to come outside. Woo, it's bright! But that's my theory on gray hair, living your best life, why women are afraid to show their natural gray hair. Let's just all embrace it. Let's be ourselves and join me in the gray hair boat. Ladies, we can rock our gray hair. We can live life to the fullest. Age is just a number. Hair color is nothing but a color. Youthfulness is all up here. I'll see you later.